Ok, now let's talk about primitives. You can see that an individual configuration panel appears for each primitive. This means that you customize the primitive as you need and then apply to the scene. For example, a primitive is used here to create the door. In order to easily place a primitive on an object, you should select the checkboxes, click to plates, scale to brush radius, and use stock direction. We can take a look at how it is used in practice. You can also usually use the Kizma to adjust radii, scale, and other parameters. Now I want to show another feature of the Primitives tool. For this purpose I will quickly create some detail. Now we need the polymodels panel. I will specifically show where it is chosen. Now drag the created object into this panel. Note that the angle at which we see it on screen appears on the poly models. Now select the Primitive tab and choose Select to Plate, Select to Brush Radius, use Stroke Direction. Now note that objects are added at the angle at which we saved them. You can also enable Gizmo to adjust. It is also possible to deform retiles, but for this purpose it is necessary to cancel Gizmo. Well, now I propose to see how it was used on the ship. All the small details you see on the ship are made with this method.
I'm also suggest using the scalp room for intricate details. In the scalp room you can blind a complex detail and then make a topology for it. So you can create incredibly stocky parts with a low poly mesh for low poly modeling. Now I will demonstrate how the sculpt mesh function works. It is in the mesh tab Enable Sculpt Mesh. Now we see how a sculpt object appeared inside the created mesh. This tab also contains the anti-aliasing levels. You can leave this feature on to see how the object will be smoothed. If you have this feature enabled, you will be able to use the tools for this object in Sculpt Room. You can use this feature temporarily for any purpose and then turn it off. If you want this object to remain in the sculpt room, you need to change the name for it. Thus, it will remain as a sculpt object. Ok, now let's talk about creating fabric in low poly modeling. I demonstrate this similarity to how it was done on the ship. As you can see, the sculpt mesh function is used here. The fact is that to create a fabric, you need to go to the sculpt room, because the clothes tool does not work with low poly mesh. All the low poly objects are closed, only the one that should be the fabric remains. Now we need to go to the sculpt room and choose the clutch tool. Then choose pick from the topo. and start.
after the simulation choose the retopper. Then return to the medallion crew. So we create a new polyfabric. Now what's left is to make the thickness. Now let's see how it works on the ship. Well, finally I will show you how I made the ropes for the ship. To see faces on both sides, you need to turn off the back face culling. I am correct it with the help of the point to poly tool. You can use the snap tool to stick to the surface. Shell tool for thickness. And for roadings I use the bevel tool. All the ropes you see are made with this method.